here to teach you how to make meatballs. I actually have different ways of preparing it, but um, because of the lockdown, I'm just going to use the ingredients I have at home. And if you look, I have the minced meat here. Okay, it's not much, but we're going to work with this. And then there's a seasoning cube. Okay, we have the onion powder and then um, the ground black pepper. All right, also we have the barbecue seasoning and then the ground white pepper. I love white pepper. Then there's hot curry powder. And then this is Cameroon pepper. All right. Now, usually I like adding breadcrumbs to the meatballs, but I don't have any at the moment. So I'll be using some pounded potato flakes. It will work as well. Also, I usually add egg as a binder, the egg. But um, since the quantity is not much, I'm just going to use um, this without the egg recipe. All right, so let's see how this goes. So the next step is to add a little of everything. The Cameroon pepper, just a small quantity. The curry powder, just a little. All right, and then you add everything in small quantity. You know, because if you don't do this, the meatball might actually end up being really spicy and you wouldn't want that. Okay, so you have to put them in little quantities, please. Then also you can turn on your oven to start heating. And if you have parchment paper or foil paper, you can actually use that when you are trying to bake. Okay. Most people, for me, I prefer baking because it's healthier instead of frying. Like it will reduce the amount of oil that you're going to use. So even for the seasoning cubes, I'm just going to put a little first. I won't use everything. Just put a little first just to ensure that it's um, not going to be too spicy since the quantity is not much. Also, you can add just a little bit of groundnut oil. I like adding just a little bit so that it doesn't um, make the mincemeat so dry. Okay, just a little bit. And then for the flakes, just a little bit as well. Yeah, that's okay. All right, so once you're done, you combine everything with your hand. You make sure your hands are clean. I've washed my hand. So you only this. Squeeze it, make sure everything, all the spices are going in. Okay. So, add more seasoning cubes, and then I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix, I mix. Stones are really good. Okay, so after this, once you are okay, and you're sure that you have the right consistency that you want, and all the spices are in, it's time to mold into balls. I mix. Stones are really good. Okay, so after this, once you are okay and you're sure that you have the right consistency that you want and all the spices are in, it's time to mold into balls. Okay, so I don't like mine really big, so I just take this size, like this size, and then roll, like a small ball, roll. It doesn't have to be so smooth, you know, you just have to make it look good. Small, portable, so when someone picks, fine. And I would put, it's just like you're eating a bar, swallow. You know, you just take, roll, 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 roll. But try to make sure they are about the same sizes. So that one is not so big, one is not so small. Okay? The shape looks very nice. If you look closely, see the spices inside. Okay? So you can either leave it for some time in the fridge or freezer so that the spices can really get in. But most times I don't leave it because already it's been and it's so easy to get in. The spices are so easy to get in. So after this, what I do, I just bring out the foil paper and then straight to the oven. Let me show you guys. So this is the meatball in the oven. I'm putting it in now. It's going to be there for about 10 minutes. So this is after 10 minutes and um, I think it's doing well. Okay, you can stir it from time to time so that it doesn't get burnt. But I guess we'll leave it for another 15 minutes. It'll be perfect then. So the meatballs are ready. Okay. And um, most times you you have to put it on the on the kitchen towel first, so that the excess oil can drain. All right. So if you want to see if it's done, just right here. Can you see? Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm. Spicy. Very sweet. Hmm. So please don't forget to tag Nelly Nails when you create this. I'd love to know if you did it well. And also you can use it for your stew, your spaghetti, that spaghetti and meatballs. You can use it to make jollof rice. You can use it for anything. You can actually eat it like this. Then you take a glass of juice or something. It's really tasty. All right. 
So thank you. It was nice doing this video. And I hope you learned something from me today. Love you all. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. See you very soon. Bye.